Hello everyone, it's Freddie Mac and it's time for another Ham Radio How-To. Stay tuned to learn something new about All Star. Hello everyone, it's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, and we're back to an All Star subject. How would you like to access your All Star Supermon 2 or your Supermon page from outside your home network? Let's say you're at work and you know you need to get into your Supermon or your Supermon 2 to control your node to do something important. You can do it remotely if you set everything up correctly. And it's really not that hard. You just need to know a little bit about your home router and you need to know how to SSH into your node, your home all-star node. So the first thing you want to do is you need to know what your home's home internet IP address is. Now, there's a chance that you may have home internet that provides you with a dynamic outside IP address. And what that means is your outside IP address that your internet says to the world, this is my IP address, this is where I'm at, might change periodically or your internet service provider might uh, give you what's called a static IP address. Sometimes, most usually always, it costs just a little bit more and your IP address outside to the world never changes, which is always helpful if you run a home website. Now let's go to the, uh, Google and type in what's my IP and this IP address that shows up at the top is your public IP address. So let's make a note of that and let's go to your Supermon page. In my case it's 192.168.1.203 and you might notice a little extra something right there on the back. By default this would be port 80 on your local network which is what web pages are normally default to is port 80. I changed that and I'll explain why here in just a little bit. But if you were to type in your uh, home all-star nodes IP address after you set up Supermon or Supermon 2, you would put in a slash Supermon or Supermon 2 and hit enter and your page would come up. And then I always like to hit all nodes so all my nodes in here show. I have my home node which is the outside uh, node 58176. And I have a private node on here for my uh, DMR analog bridge I have on uh, TGIF. And I've got a third private node here that it's in standby, which will eventually probably be for my Hamshack Hotline RF link if I decide to do it. They've been having some issues with their network, so I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. So it's in standby, just kind of waiting there. So now that we know what our outside IP address is and we know our inside IP address which is on our local area network where our home all-star node is at that's another thing we want to make note of so generally if you have a home network and you've got a web server at home which a lot of folks don't but if you do it's going to default to port 80 and I do, so I don't want mine to default to port 80, so I change this port here to 888 or whatever port number you desire so that I can direct internet traffic to that port. But the thing is, I gotta tell All-Star where to go looking for it. So, there's a few changes we've gotta make in All-Star first. So we're gonna SSH into our All-Star node Go down to item 9, hit enter, and go into the bash shell. And as per the instructions here, we're going to go to Etsy HTTPD slash conf slash, and then edit this file here. So let's just copy this much and go CD 
boink. And then make sure we're in the right directory, and we are, and we're going to nano httpd.conf, hit enter. And we're going to come down here. Okay, yours initially will say listen on whatever, I think it'll say listen port 80, but what I did here is I uncommented or took the little pound out, pound sign out of the beginning of the line and changed it to the local IP address and put colon 888 because I want the web server that is built into Allstar to listen for traffic on that port if an internet inquiry is made to it. And that's what this in, this little comment here is to let you know that. And I don't think there's anything else in this file that we're gonna change. No, control X. And if you've made any changes, you're gonna wanna hit yes to save and enter to exit. Now, I believe there's one more that we need to go change from the default. We're going to CD Etsy asterisk hit enter and then we're going to nano manager dot conf and we're going to scroll down here a little bit where it says web enabled equals yes I think by default it's commented out and you want to make sure you take that out of there. And by default this bind address is set at 127.0.0.1. I have commented it out with a semicolon and I have taken the semicolon out of bind address equals 0 .0 to 0 0.0.0.0. You have to have it this way if you use a node remote, the app on your phone but I believe it's also necessary if you're going to access your Supermon from outside of your network. So change these settings. I, I know it says not secure, but you just want to make sure you've got your firewall set up correctly. Uh-oh. Here's Auto Skywarn telling me something. Special weather statement. National Weather Service has issued a special weather statement. I believe there's a chance of storms tonight. Nonetheless, once you've got your firewall set up correctly, this will be just fine. And uh, of course, you've got your admin and your secret there. Of course, that'll be blotted out in the video. Nonetheless, once you make these changes, control X, hit yes to save and enter to exit. And I like to do a reboot of the node after I've done all that. Now, the next thing you really have to do is to get into your home firewall and forward those ports. Now, if you've set up All Star already on your home node, then you've done an All Star port forward from the default 4570 to that home node, as illustrated in this highlighted section. So if you get back into those port forwarding, you can port forward a single port, like for example, 888, I give it a label of All Star Web since it's the web interface. The external port is 888. The internal port is 888. I use both protocols, it covers TCP and UDP, and direct it to my home node and that it is enabled. If you've set up the other port, you can do this and just as quickly hit apply. Depending on your brand of router, of course, these menus will look different. Once you've made those changes, you'll save and exit out of your home router. Now, remember we said take a note of this. I'm going to hit copy. Bring open a new browser. Now this should work if you're on your home network. Hit paste, colon 888 slash supermon, hit enter. And if everything goes right, there's your Supermon page. 
And I like to hit all nodes, that way they're all showing. Look at there, special weather statement. And then I take this and save it as a link. Now what I've done with mine is, is I go to a little website, little website called noip.com. They give away three free domain names. It's on my authenticator app, okay. Waiting for my authenticator to refresh. Bump, 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 bump. Nonetheless, inside of No IP, you get three free domain names. And I chose these three, and I had this from my family page already. So I named one kd5fmu.ddns.net. And what I did is I forwarded it to this link. So if I go to any browser in the world and type in kd5fmu.ddns.net and hit enter, it forwards it right to there and boom, I can see my Supermon page and I can log into it. I can log out of it. It has helped me on several occasions now because someone would call me and say, hey, your home node is messed up or somebody you're connected to's node is messing up and I can jump right on from my phone or any computer and log them off or log myself off or what have you, and it works. Just a quick side note here, once we get logged in, see that special weather statement there? Boom, you can click on it and it takes you right to the National Weather Service page and it shows that there's a special weather statement issued today at 418. Hey, a strong thunderstorm will impact portions of southwestern Wagner, northwestern Mogi, northwestern Muskogee, and southern southeastern Tulsa counties through 4.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Well, since I'm in Altmogi County, this affects me and that's why my auto Skywarn on my all-star node sounded off. Isn't that something? Nonetheless, once you've made these changes to your all-star node, you too can access your Supermon or Supermon 2 page from the outside world. So you notice here I did my Supermon 2 page. I can also do Supermon 2, boom, just like that. I hit all nodes, and then that's the link that I want to save because all three nodes are showing. And I want to put that outside IP address right here, 47.217.204.249, boom dot and then colon 888 and then I'm there so you get the point I'll put these notes down in the show notes for this video but it's just a real quick way where you can set your all-star node up to be accessed from outside your network anywhere in the world in another video I'll show you how how to add these custom links here at the top They'll take me to the uh, Crusader hub that's now in Altmulgee and my YouTube page, Ham Radio Crusader. Check it out. Please give us a like or subscribe. I'm glad that you guys stopped by to watch another All-Star video. More to come. I'm going to be starting a series pretty soon from very beginning to finish of building your own All-Star node and maybe even covering at the beginning how to SSH into your computer using PuTTY or other programs such as the one as I do on a Mac called Zen Term Lite. It is wonderful. Nonetheless, this is KD5FMU wishing you all the good signals to be yours. Hope you have a wonderful week and an even better weekend. 7-3's KD5FMU, your ham radio crusader, over and out.